Hey guys, how's it going? Danish here and today we're discussing something very extremely simple. With me, I have the Huawei Pura 80, uh, a beautiful phone, one that I really like, um, looks very nice, nice flat edges, uh, overall small size, I like my smaller sized phones, uh, this uh, Huawei's camera and everything, like it's such a good spec phone. Uh, you've got your uh, triple camera setup, 15 megapixel, you've got a bright, beautiful display which goes up to like 1 billion colors. But when it comes to Huawei, there's always one question, can we have Google Apps on it? And frankly speaking, it has never been easier than what I'm about to show you. So updated as of October 2025, let me show you how you get Google Apps on to the phone. All right, so here we have the phone. Now, very, very simple. All you have to do is go to Huawei App Gallery and then you search for the app you want. So in this case, let's say I search for YouTube, right? It's gonna give you, now what it's gonna do is it's gonna find all the APKs and stuff like that, but all you have to do in this particular case is that all you do is click on the install button. Now this is the most important part. So, and this is only a one-time thing. It'll ask you if you are okay with running MicroG Companion and MicroG Service which is basically the apps through which your Google goes through and then ends up working. And here, let's just try it out. So we click here. And it takes a second or so, depending on the internet, of course. Oh, right, yeah, so in the background right now, it's downloading the MicroG and um, MicroG Companion, and therefore, and now the YouTube will start. And similar to this, you can get all the um, apps that you want, all the Google apps. So like once I install this, I'll just quickly show you that you don't need uh, that little step anymore. But let me just open up YouTube quickly. So it should install right there and you click it and you have functioning YouTube. Just as a test, I'll just show you a quick random video to show you that it's working. And let's just get the volume off. And yeah, there you go, working YouTube. So if I pop that full screen, right? Super easy, obviously looks gorgeous thanks to the phone itself. But yeah, you have YouTube working. Now, as far as the other apps go, again, all you do is, let's say now this time I want the Google app itself, right? So I click here, Google, and you'll see MicroG is already installed. And here for this, now when I click it this time, it'll just install directly. I can do the same for Chrome as well and any other Google services that I might want. So yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much the easiest way possible. No extra apps, no extra steps and stuff like that. Now I will say this, that first and foremost, if you do so, you're doing so at your own risk. Please do your research before you use such methods. Secondly, um, things like notifications are still a little iffy. So with your Gmail and stuff like that, notifications are a bit off. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, check this one last time. And yeah, there you go. You have Google as well and Chrome has come through as well and they work perfectly fine. So yeah, there you go. So if a Huawei device is what you want to get and Google is what you use, which I know a lot of people have this conundrum, this is the easiest way to get Google on it and get your apps working. If you like the video, please don't forget to share, subscribe, comment, and let me know if there's anything else specific to Huawei that you want to know. I will see you at the next one.